Hello guys, today I will show you my technique and I'll name this technique uh, painting for photographers. I have similar technique in Adobe Photoshop when you can use mixer brush to, to create beautiful piece of art using your um, base uh, layer, your uh, photo as a base layer. So you don't need to be a professional painter to create um, absolutely amazing piece of art. Uh, same technique I will show you right now and we will use uh, Adobe Photoshop Sketch. Adobe Photoshop Sketch is absolutely amazing mobile application. You don't need to put your inspiration on hold and wait till you will be at home or office in front of your uh, um, computer or laptop to start uh, working on your project. So you uh, can start working on your project, project for, uh, practically from anywhere using Adobe Sketch and you can finish your project in Adobe Sketch or you can finish your project in Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. I'm a Photoshop person, so if I um, will want to finish my project using my desktop application, definitely I will do it in um, Adobe Photoshop CC. First of all, um, I will create new document and we will treat this document as our canvas. And right now I will uh, download image and I will use this image as my base layer. Um, I can download image from my iPad, I can take a photo, I can download image from my Creative Cloud folder or I can download image from Market. Market is absolutely free uh, marketplace where you can download um, any kind of images for your uh, project. If you create a cloud uh, subscriber, this is free. And also another amazing uh, method uh, to um, uh, download of any image for your project is Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock uh, basically a place where you can find any image for your project. Uh, just go to Adobe Stock and check out this site. For now, I will download my image from my iPad. I will use my photography folder. Uh, I will use image of my model I took a few months ago. I have option to change opacity of my base layer and I will change, I will bring opacity down just a little. Click done. And I can use uh, any brush. I can use brush, a uh, default brush from default Adobe Photoshop Sketch brush brushes, or I can use brush from my uh, uh, library, or I can create brush using another amazing Adobe uh, application, which is Adobe Brush. It's free Adobe uh, mobile application. Using Adobe Brush, you can create any brush for your uh, sketch or Adobe Photoshop usage. So guys, go and check it out. For now, I will use um, mm. kind of pencil um, tool and I will um, bring flow uh, percentage down. It's about uh, 35, 40 and I will make my uh, size smaller. And what I will do right now, I will um, resize my image. I will uh, increase size of my image so it will be easier for me to trace it. As you can see, you don't need to be a professional painter to create a uh, beautiful art uh, from your uh, photography. Just spend some time to trace your photo and after that you can finish your project in Adobe Sketch or you can uh, upload your traced image to Photoshop and finish your uh, painting project in Photoshop. It's easy. And you can start working on your project from uh, anywhere.
just spend some time uh, tracing your image. Don't miss any details. Oops, I made mistakes, so I will swipe my two fingers on the left and I will erase my last stroke. almost done tracing just shape of her face hair uh, try to as um, not to miss any details because all details are very important later on. So trace as much details as you can. And as you can see, uh, we are done with tracing our image. I will bring um, opacity down of my base layer or I can delete my layer, base layer, and I can finish my project using Adobe Sketch, or I can finish my project using Adobe Photoshop. It's up to you guys. It uh, depends of your preferences. So as you can see, you don't need to be a professional painter to create a piece of art out of your uh, photo. And I'm naming this technique as painting for photographers. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.